Okay, today's video is on how to be a tightwad and use these LED bulbs in a fixture that was meant for these LED bulbs. You see the difference between the two. This one here is meant to be used in an open uh, lamp type fixture. These can be used in enclosed fixtures like uh, ceiling lights. I have a number of the globe type ceiling lights and I found that when I've put lots of these in, they still burn out. So I thought, what's the point? Why not try and adapt the fixture so that it can use the cheaper bulbs rather than the more expensive bulbs since the expensive bulbs just burn out anyway. So what I'll show you is uh, what I have done and then I'll show you actually how to modify the fixture. These are the small vinyl heavy duty pads that I purchased at, I think it was Home Depot. And you can see that they're uh, 3 8 inch in diameter, 10 millimeter. Um, it gives you the, uh, the product number there. But essentially all you're doing, this is the pad that you get them on. They come, they're self-adhesive, so they stick on. But the idea is to take three of these little pads and place them so that they form a triangle type of thing so that when the bulbs or when the globe sorry sits on it the globe doesn't teeter and it gives an air gap all the way around the top of the fixture so that air can enter and hot air can exit so that's the idea and I'll show you how I do it okay here we have a globe type light that I was talking about and you notice that all around the top perimeter here there's no gap and what happens is as soon as the light bulb inside heats up that airspace, it just heats up the entire globe. And for an LED, that just cooks the LED uh, electronics. So what we're going to do is just take a pencil and mark off three locations, just so you have a reference. And they don't have to be big marks. So you got one there, one over here, and then one over here on this side is close enough. All right. Now, uh, it's a matter of just taking off the globe. Okay, so now we've removed the globe and we have to position our little uh, pads on our marks that we made with our pencil. Okay, so here's our first pad and we'll stick it right to the edge. You'll see this little lip right here. Stick it right to the edge and stick it on. Um, you'll, you're probably wondering, why don't you just stick it on the uh, glass? I tried that and uh, it just slides right off. Okay, there, there's your three pads. What we have to check now is to make sure that we can lower this so that the globe can still fit on with our extra room that we have on here. The cap has a fixed thread depth, but on this rod here, it can rotate up inside this socket quite a bit. So this is where you get your adjustment and then you tighten up your jam nut and then you put your globe on and then this piece here as you tighten it up will secure the globe against the fixture so we just have to uh, back off that jam nut just a little bit okay and hopefully the fixture can handle it nope this one won't Now these ones are available at Home Depot. Uh, you just have to take this one with you, get another one, cut it with a hacksaw to the appropriate length. Now to find that appropriate length, the easiest way to do it is this. Take it and screw it all the way back in. So all the way in until it bottoms out. I looked up inside of this socket and there is a fixed distance that it can go. So that I understand what my proper length of my new rod is going to have to be, I'm going to take the globe, put the globe in place, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a pen and I'm going to poke the pen up inside and I'm going to take a measurement. The rod that I cut is going to have to be this full length that I have right now plus that amount. That will allow me to unscrew this lower than the bottom of the globe so that when I put the globe, I can put the cap on, everything will be perfect. So I have to take a, my full measurement of my new rod is going to have to be this long plus this. 
I went out in the garage and I found an old one of these, so I cut it off. This one ended up having to be four inches. This one is three and a half inches. So if you don't want to have to cut one, you might be able to find it in your local um, hardware store uh, at the right length. This is very critical that it, it is, has enough bite up inside this uh, tube, this threaded tube. So if you do back it out and you find you only got about a quarter of an inch, uh, I would go and buy another one, either cut it, get one that's longer, buy about another half an inch or so, um, and then screw it in, uh, put your uh, jam nut up there, just snug it up like that, we're good to go. Now it's a matter of repositioning the globe in place on its little pedestals and on those little guys. And you notice you have a little bit hanging down here this is not enough so i'm going to drop it and extend this down about another eighth of an inch and now that i hopefully got it at the right length i've had to do this probably three or four times to make sure that i'm at the, the right distance down so that i can get my cap and globe on I'll put the globe back on very gently into place okay and the cap Snug it up. And just make sure you're centered. And that's it. Now you've got a bit of a gap all the way around the top. You'll hopefully get a good exchange of area in there and make those bulbs last longer. Anyways, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.